Welcome back. The Color of Care is a documentary premiering on the Smithsonian Channel. It highlights the disparities in healthcare and how the COVID-19 pandemic tragically exposed this. Here with me today is Yancey Ford, director of this film, and Dr. Hetty Cunningham, participant within this film. So grateful they're both with us today. Yancey, let's start with you. Tell me more about this film and what made you decide to participate in it? Well, The Color of Care uh, came to be a documentary film when I was approached by Harpo Productions, um, the, the production company of Oprah Winfrey, after she read an article in USA Today about Gary Fowler, a man in, um, in Detroit who had attempted to get treatment for uh, COVID-19 at three separate hospitals and was sent away by each of them. Um, Mr. Fowler died in his home uh, from COVID-19. Um, and the story of what happened to Mr. Fowler really um, got Ms. Winfrey to ask um, herself how many other Gary Fowlers are out there. Um, and so my task as the director was to um, locate people who were struggling with health inequities and access to care during the COVID-19 uh, epidemic, uh, pandemic, excuse me, but also to, um, to find history that would help people understand how we got to where we are in, the hist in, in our um, current health system and the inequities that people of color have to deal with when trying to access quality care. And also identifying experts like Dr. Cunningham who could help us understand what can be done about those inequities today. As this film, one of the executive producers on it is Oprah Winfrey, as you mentioned. It contains firsthand accounts of people who lost loved ones to COVID-19, as well as frontline medical workers. Dr. Cunningham, you are a part of this film. Tell me more about why you decided to become a part of this and what message you would like viewers to take away from your role in this film. I was um, so privileged, felt so privileged to be part of this film when Mr. Ford approached me because the stories that are in this film echo the experiences of many of my friends and family. So it felt very personal and very real to me. In addition, I've been teaching for years and years about health disparities. And it seems like now because of the Black Lives Matter movement and the COVID disparities, um, institutions around the country have a heightened awareness of this problem and we're working um, I know colleagues medical education and, and medical colleagues around the country are working to um, find solutions in addition communities of color are activated to um, to, to work and partner to find solutions um, so the film is just a tremendous opportunity to raise everyone's awareness and to get us moving even faster towards solutions to this critical problem in our, in our country. Yancy, how did you decide what to include in this film? Unfortunately, there are so many stories and they're just heartbreaking and people are so brave to share the tragic consequences of their loved ones passing away during the pandemic and how racial disparities played into that. Was it difficult to decide what to include and what not to? Um, it, it really wasn't difficult to decide because um, as a storyteller, I know um, that there's nothing more effective in communicating an issue to people um, than the story of an ordinary person just like them. Um, and we were very fortunate to find ordinary people who were willing to share their stories with us. Um, and they are tragic stories, but they're also stories of tremendous bravery, um, uh, stories of resilience, um, and stories of people who um, are determined to use the death of their loved ones to help raise awareness of this issue. Um, it was also in, important to include history um, uh, of health disparities in America in the film so that people understand where they come from. Um, and finally, it was really important to include um, the voices of, of, of doctors of color specifically um, who can talk about um, these issues within their profession, um, who can speak to their colleagues about what needs to be done to address, to address healthcare disparities but who can also help people understand how they can advocate for themselves um, within the healthcare system. Dr. Cunningham, as a physician in the pandemic, when you look back, especially at the height of it, what stands out to you? What do you remember the most from that time? 
What I remember the most is um, the lack of, well, first of all, the fact that our frontline workers were continuing to put themselves in harm's way and um, the tremendous bravery that all those people um, showed every day going to work and getting, you know, keeping our nation running. Um, I remember uh, the pots in, here in New York, people used to, at seven o'clock, they would bang pots for the frontline workers, which was tremendous. Um, but I also just remembered hearing story after story of lack of resources in our, our communities that we knew were gonna be the most effective, affected, excuse me, people calling for um, ambulances, ambulance not coming, people going to the hospital, being turned away, um, loved ones dying without um, being able to even speak uh, to their families. These are resource issues. Um, and the film really brings this to, to light and um, allows us all to share in these stories. Um, one, to honor the people who passed, um, and two, to start to think about these, these issues, these resource and systemic issues that we need to combat. And Yancy, you don't shy away from really hard topics. As director of Strong Island, that was a really emotional film as well. Do you ever feel drained by the subjects of your film? And what do you hope people will learn and take away? And what do you want changed after people watch The Color of Care? Sure, well, as a film director, um, I recognize how important it is um, to allow people to speak for themselves and to tell their own stories. And so I never actually feel drained um, at the end of making a film or during uh, making a film. I, I always feel uh, invigorated by people's bravery and their willingness to share their stories um, with us. Um, and now that The Color of Care um, is, is on the verge of, of being broadcast and um, made available to audiences, um, I know that the, the human stories in this film will resonate with audiences as much as they resonated with me. I know they absolutely will. It is a beautiful film. The Color of Care premieres on May 1st on the Smithsonian Channel, 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Thank you so much, Director Yancey Ford and Dr. Arthur Cunningham for joining us today. Really hope that you will watch it. It will change your perspective. Really incredible, brave people, as Yancey mentioned, sharing their stories, especially about racial disparities during COVID-19. We'll be back with more right after this.